Hi there, welcome to the practice questions on being able to work out the mean, median, mode and range from a set of data. We've got two questions here for you, for you to actually have a go at. So what I'd like you to do is um, pause the video and then have a go at questions one and two. Then when you're happy with your answers, restart the video and we'll go through the model answers together. So if you pause the video now, have a go at questions one and two and remember to find the mean, mode, median and range for each one. Hi, welcome back. Let's now go through these two questions together. I'm going to start off working out the mean for both of these questions. So first of all, this first one, I want to find the mean for this set of data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all these numbers up. Because to work out the mean, we have to add the numbers or the sum of the numbers and then divide it by however many numbers there are. If I add the total of these numbers, I'm going to get 64. So total 64. And then I need to count up how many numbers there are. There's actually 11 numbers in my list there. So I'm going to divide this by 11. Obviously if you do this on a calculator you'll get a decimal answer and you could round it to for example one decimal place. We can do it without a calculator just by leaving it as a fraction. If you say 11 into 64, well 11 into 64 goes five times but of course five elevens are 55 so we have nine remainder. We just write nine as the top of our fraction and that goes over the number 11. Second one then. Let's now have a look at the mode. Now the mode is the number that occurs the most. With the mode and the median, it's always a good idea to write these this list of numbers in order of size. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to write these numbers in order of size. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to cross them out as I go. So let's look at the smallest one here. It's two cross it out and then we've got one two three threes here one two three then we've got a four and then after the four we've got two sixes we've then got a seven and an eight and finally a ten and a twelve just check before you do this that you've got all the numbers. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Are there enough numbers in the list? Well, yes, there was. We've already counted up to work out the mean. So now we can look very clearly and see which number occurs the most. When they're in order, it's much easier to see that the 3 here occurs 3 times. So our mode is going to be 3. Now we've got them in order, it's easy to do the median as well. The median is the middle number in the list when they have been arranged in ascending order. We've arranged these in ascending order, so what we need to do now is just find the middle number. Now, the easiest way to do this at this stage is just to cross out from either end. So if I cross one out from this end, and then from the other end, and keep going, eventually, because there's an odd amount of numbers, I'm going to be left with one number in the middle, which is 6. So our median here is the number 6. And finally, <coughs> excuse me, and finally the range. The range is just the difference between the biggest and the smallest number. So from our ordered list, we see our biggest number here is 12, and the smallest number is 2. To find the difference, we subtract the, large, the smallest from the largest, and we get our range of 10. Second question then, number 2. Exactly the same type of thing, so we're going to look at the mean first of all. And our mean from this set of data, well if we add these up, we get a total of 93. This time there's 10 numbers in the list. So we have 93 divided by 10. 
Obviously when you're divided by 10 it's very easy to write this as a decimal. 93 divided by 10 if we just move our digits here um, to the right one place then we get 9.3. We can leave it as a decimal this time. Uh, let's have a look at the mode then. So the mode, the one that occurs the most in the list. Well we're going to write these again in order of size. So let's start off with the smallest which is 4. And then we've got a 6 here. We've then got 1, 2, 3 7s. We've then got an 8. Next one we've got a 12. A 13. 14 and 15 always check that you've actually got all the numbers written down. There was 10 in our list. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've got our full set of numbers there. If we have a look along the list we can see the 7 occurs three times. So our mode here is 7. Then the median, well from our list we've got 10 numbers this time. So what we must do we need to find the two numbers in the middle. There's going to be two numbers in the middle because it's an even amount of numbers in our list. So if again we cross off from either end on our list, we're going to end up having four crossed on either side and we've got seven and eight in the middle. Now the median is the number that is halfway between the seven and the eight. This is obviously fairly easy to do, we can see it's 7.5. If they were slightly harder numbers, we'd use the method where we add them together. So if we add our 7 and our 8 together, that's going to give us 15. And then we find the average, the mean average of them, divide that by 2 to get 7.5 that way. So our median, 7.5. Finally then our range. Our range here, the difference between the largest number, well the largest number in this case is 15, and our smallest number in this one here was 4. So 15 take away 4 gives us our range of 11.